Do not seek regular sexual gratification through masturbation. It is a tragedy that I never heard that word in church. And I can only remember hearing it once in four years of college from every day going to chapel. What in the world? Masturbation is self-stimulation to orgasm or climax. And the reason I say don't use it is because it, number one, will not solve the problem in the long run. It does not relieve the pleasure and the pressure very long. Number two, it becomes habitual. Number three, it produces guilt. Then more importantly, the last two arguments, it contradicts the God-given design for sexuality. Our bodies and our desires are designed for fulfillment through personal union. Self-stimulation contradicts that purpose and inevitably produces a sense of wrongness. Masturbation is inevitably accompanied by sexual fantasies which we would not allow ourselves in reality. And therefore, we start to become like the Pharisees, well scrubbed on the outside and inside full of perversions. Do not seek sexual gratification through touching and being touched by another person, even if you keep it short of sexual intercourse. I'm speaking to unmarried people. Everyone knows that intimate touching is the prelude to and preparation for sexual intercourse. You stop it, you'll be frustrated to death and wind up in masturbation. Therefore, it belongs in marriage. God made us in such a way that if we try to turn that moment of touching into a spiritual, emotional, personal moment of union, our hearts are going to cry out for permanence, for promises of faithfulness. Our hearts say in that moment, you may touch me because you have promised never to leave me or forsake me. You may have me because you are me. We are so made that we cry out for permanence when giving away our most precious gifts. The most effective way to get rid of a desire that you don't want, but you have, is to recognize that it's there, admit it, and push it out with a new one. You can't get rid of it really any other way. Not effectively. Remember Jesus talked about getting the heart clean of one devil. You sweep it nice and clean. It stays empty. And whoom, seven more come back. So it is with sexual desires. You must replace them with something new, a new affection. And prayer is the summoning of divine assistance to produce those new desires in our hearts. Jesus prayed for his disciples, sanctify them in the truth. Thy word is truth. There is nothing that renews the mind and the heart and enables it to assess things the way God assesses them than regular meditation on the revelation of God in the Bible. Paul said in 2 Corinthians 5, 16, from now on, we know nobody according to the flesh. That means we know everybody from God's perspective. That'll clean up your mind in a hurry. That'll put a big, strong fence, especially you guys, about abusing the females among whom you function. It will not allow you to depersonalize them and treat them in your minds in ways you'd never treat them in person. 